Again, Omaha police showed nine clips from businesses in and around Saturday's deadly police shooting. That's on top of body camera stills and photographic evidence from the scene. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon walks us through all that tonight. Julie, Rob, pictures and video from police better explain what prompted them to open fire. And tonight, new audio reveals the barrage of gunfire from police and their call for help last weekend. Shot fire, 30 second now. Omaha police provide 17 minutes of evidence Thursday. The communication was the gunshot. The police chief saying a single gunshot from the driver of an SUV prompted police to open fire. Fernando Rodriguez Juarez seen here reaching across passenger Jonathan Hernandez Rosales, then accelerating, almost striking officer Robert Saldo. The officers had to react to that instantly. And there wasn't any time at that point to issue any command Spanish or anything of that nature. They had to respond instantly to the gunshot. The department saying in this video narrative, the men were inside Ecstasy's nightclub around 2 a.m. Saturday, then came into a confrontation with other patrons outside. The men then went to retrieve a gun, pointing at patrons and officers, escorting the crowd away from the club. Rodriguez Juarez firing a single shot, followed by 21 shots from officers. The barrage heard in this video from inside Anytime Laundry. The department saying officers gave the men numerous verbal commands to stop their SUV, which stopped when it hit this utility box. It's here that Officer Soldo's body cam powered on after earlier attempts, but the chief saying it's unclear if the men understood police commands in English. We are not fully sure, although one of them asked for an ambulance in English and the other had some English comments on social media. There was not time for verbal warnings at the time the shots were fired. The chief saying there, the driver, Rodriguez Juarez, is the man who asked for an ambulance in English. Tonight, the chief is also saying it's protocol for officers to know languages to better interact with the public, but saying that these officers involved didn't know Spanish. Live at OPD headquarters, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7. Alex, thank you.